What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman. We're going to be breaking down a, another depressing loss for our Minnesota Vikings as they dropped the game, uh, they dropped the division, and possibly the entire season as they lost 30-24 to to the Detroit Lions in another just insane game for this Vikings team. I mean, every game this year, honestly, every game over the last two years, it's it, it has just felt like a movie. And um, it has just felt like, you know, no matter what, whether how how much the Vikings are down or how much the Vikings are up, like it's going to come down to it. And it did. I mean, the Vikings' last drive, Nick Mullins, he had an insane play to Justin Jefferson where Jefferson went up over the top of two Lions uh, cornerbacks, and he mossed them both on third and 27, and then a 30-yard pass to Brandon Powell, and then Nick Mullins on the last, this, uh, last play of the game that mattered. He threw the biggest duck I've ever seen in my life straight to a uh, Lions defender, and he ended up with four interceptions. Um, he only had two touchdowns. It's a typo on my part, but I mean – and Jefferson only had, yeah, the touchdowns are all messed up. Ignore that, guys. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the Vikings just just rough, rough all the game today. Uh, Jefferson obviously played well. He had 141 yards and a touchdown. And, I mean, you know, injury news side of things, like um, injury news side, like you lose Addison, you lose Hawkinson. And, like, the Vikings just had no consistent answers. But, also, the refs, I mean, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. I thought the refs were terrible uh, for the Vikes, but, you know, I think we need to start off with this, though. Uh, talking about the wild card. Uh, this is how it's shaping up right now. The Lions did move into the two seed ahead of the Cowboys. The Cowboys are taking on the Dolphins right now, um, and they square off next week, uh, Lions-Cowboys, in a big, big game. But, yeah, as it stands right now, the Vikings are 7-8, and eight, Green Bay 1, Seattle 1, which is a big win for them, and... Right now, the Vikings are fighting an uphill battle. Uh, you know, they're going to need to definitely beat Green Bay next week. If they lose to Green Bay next week, their season's over. You're going to have to probably beat Green Bay, and they're going to need to get some help, and then you're going to need to beat the Lions. But I do think for the first time this year, I can you know, say pretty confidently, I think the Vikings' season ended today. And it's just it's a depressing feeling. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, this is a really... Just just a really, really depressing feeling. But, hey, we're going to stay here, and we're going to be live on the channel anytime we get. We'll be live for the New Year's Eve game against the Packers. And, you know, also, I uh, see in the live chat, Jeff Viking saying it, uh, congrats to the Lions. Um, haven't won the division since 93. Um, just credit to all of them. They have a really good football team over there. Uh, Vikings battled. I mean, you can't say they didn't today, but, again, it was just, it was just one of those – one of those games, which I, they're just leaving you, you know, asking for more. And I do want to ask you guys this. Who is your biggest loser from today? I'm probably going Nick Mullins. Um, you know, the stats are good for Mullins. I mean, he threw for 411 yards, but a lot of that was just Jefferson being a dog. And I, I'll say this. Justin Jefferson might be the best non-quarterback in the NFL. Um, I mean, the last couple of weeks, even against Cincinnati, the catches he was making – Again, today, the catches he was making was just incredible. And he just amazes me every single time he steps on the football field. I think he's the best wide receiver in the league. I understand if you like Tyreek Hill, you know, you can take him too. But I think it's Jefferson or Hill or, you know, nothing. And I would take Jefferson any day of the week. Um, yeah, I'm a – it's just – it's it's just depressing. But let me know who is your biggest loser from the Vikings' loss to, obviously, the Detroit Lions. I kind of just want to wrap up my thoughts here in a second, but first I do got to give a huge shout-out to Prize Picks, today's sponsor of our post-game show. Um, yeah, got to give a huge shout-out to Prize Picks. If you guys go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use promo code CLNS, they're going to give you a first deposit match up to $100. This is the lineup I ran with today. Um Ended up, you know, winning. It was a winner. So I took more than Jefferson, 109 and a half receiving yards. Got a boosted on that. And then I also took more on a combined Hawkinson and Laporta, 101 and a half uh, receiving yards combined. I hit that as well. But if you guys want to get involved in on the fun, 
prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and you're going to get a first deposit match up to $100. Get hooked up today. I love prize picks, and trust me, you guys will too. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Uh, just want to wrap up my thoughts on today's game. Uh, I understand. Listen, very, very depressing game. Like, no doubt about it. Like, even at the end right there, like, the whole time, like, I just kept thinking, like, the Vikings are going to somehow pull this out, and obviously they didn't. And, you know, that last play is something that I'm going to look back on a lot, just mainly because he had, like, he had Jefferson. And if you would have just thrown him a better ball, I mean, the ball literally came out, guys. It looked like it was, like, it was the most wobbly football I think I've ever seen. It looked like a high school quarterback throwing it, but it's, it, was, it was just a bad loss. Um, you know, thoughts... Mullins, I don't think he's the quarterback next week against the Packers. I think they go to Jaron Hall, and I think they should. Um, and then uh, I just think you need to I – just, I just really do think you need to do that just because you need to find out what you have in Hall. And, listen, Mullins is not that. And, you know, might as well let the kid play. Like, might as well see what you have there. Uh, defensively, obviously you're going against one of the best def or offenses in the league in the Detroit Lions. I mean, they got playmakers all over the field. Gibbs was great today. I love Jameer Gibbs. I'm a big fan of Jared Goff. And obviously, they got an elite offensive coordinator, elite offensive line. I mean, there's a reason they're top five in almost every statistical category heading into today. And Vikings defense just couldn't get enough stops. Um, the refs, I do want to address that, too. Um, I understand you could say this is me being biased or me, you know, take my blinders off or whatever, but... You know, the refs were bad, and um, they were bad throughout the whole game today for the Vikings. I didn't feel like the Vikings got a single call. And I know, listen, the refs aren't the reason the Vikings lost the game, but um, the roughing the passer call was terrible. They missed holding all the time on the Lions. And just uh, even, like, the legal contact, um, when it was, third and, it was third and seven, and they caught a legal contact on Jalen Williams, it was just a terrible call. Jalen Williams just touched him, and then he ended up falling down. And it was just, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have too many, you know, too many different ways to describe this game. It was just, it was just a sad, a sad Christmas Eve. And, you know, we're going to be back, though, on the channel next week against the Green Bay Packers and uh, obviously a must-win game, second to last game of the year. Uh, I think it's going to be a ton of fun, um, even if, you know, Vikings do probably don't have that good of a chance to make the playoffs anymore, but if they win next week, beat the Lions, they still get in, most likely, so hopefully the Vikings can get the 9-8, and eight, beat the Packers, beat the Lions, but we'll obviously have to wait and see. Um, thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I really do appreciate it, you guys tuning in. Um, I really do appreciate it, man. I really do. So, thank you guys so much for watching today's show. Uh, thank for Thank you to everybody who's tuned in to our live shows throughout the week. Again, it's awesome. Uh, thank you so much. We'll uh, see you guys next time. As always, uh, Skull Bike.